Hi guys, my name is Kat, I'm a California CPA. In this video, I'll show you how to enter W-2 in Lacert and also how to enter multi-state W-2 in Lacert, which is sometimes can be tricky. All right, let's dive in. So first of all, we open client under, after we restored the file <laughs> and we have the client ready, we just open the uh, client and go under detail. We go under line 10 where we can enter wages and salaries. And I already pre-populated pre pre some of it for us, so I can easier and I can save you some time on entry. So there's two ways to enter W2. One, we can enter it under summary right here. And usually that's where I start. I just enter employer name, if it's for taxpayer or spouse. If it's for spouse, you have to check here. Uh, retirement plan or not, depends based on W2 states. For states, I'm gonna add a little bit later. We enter wages uh, from uh, W-2 withholdings. Uh, so I'm gonna start, uh, well, let's just leave it the way it is for now. I'm sorry, I was playing with state wages to show you examples. So let me just delete this for now and I'll show you example um, how to enter multi-state a little bit later. So let's say it's 45,000 total federal wages. There is federal withholdings that we have to enter, social security wages we enter. So everything is blue is what we entered in black, what was calculated. So social security, Medicare wages, uh, Medicare withholdings were calculated by the software and we can double check it against the W-2. Uh, state, with state withholdings we also enter. So after we enter it like general basic information, we go under details. So we do need to enter EAN number. We do need to enter state ID number. This checks box, uh, you don't have to check it right away. You can kind of like enter all the information. And then when you go to diagnostics, it will show up somewhere here. So let's say state ID not verified. So somewhere here, We'll have a diagnostics here. You oh, it, like we just have too many diagnostics. But here you go. You file state identification number is required on W two. Uh, I think it's this one or maybe another. So I so we just go back and we kind of I, this is regarding this one. But it also generate when one for state ID verified or not. So we have to check it here. Later on, obviously we entered employer name here. We need to add address. Another way to enter all lines on under W2, it just kind of like matching the lines. So it has like line one and we have line one on W2. So it also like it labeled all the lines. So it's super easy to enter it. We enter box 14 if you have to enter something, box uh, state withholdings, everything should go here. All right, so that's kind of overview how to enter W-2, but what if you have W-2 with multiple states? Is it sourced to different, the wages and state withholding sourced to different states? So in order to do that, first we have to go to client information and I already did it for us, but I just wanna show you where I did it, where I entered it. So here we have returns. So we need to add, if you need to add states, we add states. So I had entered California and Virginia. And I pre let's pretend for this tax example, for this example, we have um, wages sourced to California and um, Virginia. So here you go. I entered 25K sourced to California, 20K to Virginia. I didn't enter anything here under sourced. And I'm gonna explain to you in a second. So if you enter it this way, it will be 25K will be sourced to California, 20K to Virginia. Also, we wanna make sure we enter the same for state income withholdings. So I pretended for this example, 2K to California, $50 to Virginia. Just kind of not fair because 50K, $50 is too small, but oh well. Later on, we go to form forms and I'm going to pause myself for a second because I know it's it's fine because I thought this one will be too small to view, but it's not. So here we go under federal box one. We have 45 K wages here. When we go to California, we can see 25 K sourced here. And also here we have withholdings somewhere. Um, here you go. 2K of withholdings. 
California income tax withhold, withhold, withheld. And also under uh, Virginia, sorry, we have this $50 of income tax withheld and we have 20,000 Virginia sources. So that's what we wanted. It works perfectly. So now I'm going to show you what happens if you do how, how to, if you would like to use this source amounts and sometimes you do need it. So basically when we source it, let's say we source 25 K to California and we enter 20 K like this, what it does, it takes this out from federal and uh, it's still sourced to states we want. So basically now under federal, we only will see 20 K. So Virginia stays here like we want it. California stays the same. It's good, but under federal, it's only 20 K. So what we have to do, we have to go here. So if you do want to source those things, so now I'll, I'll just show you right away that for federal, we'll have zero in wages. So what we have to do, we have to enter it here, 45 thousand and just enter federal and now it should show up here and it will be okay it will show correctly on california and virginia this is my bad but the only problem here is that you see like Medicare wages are calculated automatically. So we have to override it here to make sure it's correct. And it just looks a little bit strange because now it shows like we have 90K of wages, which we don't, but it shows up okay on the forms. So that's the difference between entering as a source and not sourced. Um, so it's up to you how you wanna, you know, go with that. It just sometimes we do need to enter this way because if a total of state um, wages do not uh, like do not add up to be federal, like let's say we source some uh, state um, some uh, wages to the state that doesn't like let's say doesn't have taxes, individual taxes, so some of it it just not it's not going to add up. So we kind of have to source it this way. So I hope this was helpful and thank you. Bye. I hope you found my video helpful. Uh, if you want to learn more about me and what I do, please go to my website remotecpainla.com and please subscribe to my channel. It means still a lot to me when people comment or subscribe to my channel. That makes me want to continue and record more videos. Thank you and have a great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.